Chris, that was a, an emotional game. Did you how did did you see think your guys kind of lost a little composure out there, or how did you kind of yeah, see them? For, you know, for sure, the frustrations boiled over. Is you know, um, not the most mature effort by us. We needed a way more mature effort than that. Um, you know, we needed to do little things better, like take care of the ball and um, make next make the next rotation on defense. I mean, that's what cost us the game. So. Now defensively, I think three of the last four have been pretty high high numbers. Like, is that kind of the biggest problem right now? Is just not getting those stops consistently? I, well, yeah, for sure. I mean, and then you couple it with uh, again twenty three turnovers for thirty four points. You know, it's not a good recipe. When when things started to get, you got a little bit of a lead there in the third quarter. And yeah. Was it just turning over? Yeah, like, we turned it over. We were up uh, ninety nine ninety two. We got an outlet pass. We turn it over. Um, we take a. You know, like a home run three. Um, next time down, I think we were, you know, I don't remember what we got. I don't think we had another good shot at that point in time either. Um, you know, we had three turnovers in a row at one point. You know. Did you get a view on the Rudy ejection and what you kind of saw there? I didn't. I mean, I saw what you guys saw. Um, you know, apparently, uh, Williams was taunting Rudy. So uh, that's why he got the technical. Chris, with the D'Angelo Russell, in after everything was kind of crazy there, after the Rudy ejection, kind of felt like a, a stabilizing force in kind of the mm -hmm. second and third quarter there. Um, it seems like he's kind of been trending upward here over the, the last week or so. What did you see tonight and just yeah, kind of from thought, him recently? I thought he did a good job recognizing uh, early on the drives to the basket were there, for, you know, and then later on in third particularly, we were playing, playing well through the pocket, um, finding people right there, making – and then um, – yeah, so absolutely. So, and then Nas is obviously thrown into a bigger role tonight, but has a consistent role here now mm -hmm. going forward. What are you looking for from him in this in this time? Uh, well, you know, he did a great job. He rebounded extremely well at 18. That must be a career high, I would imagine, for him. Um, you know, uh, you know, just doing what he does for us offensively, and he just has to you know do it every night and play with a lot of physicality. So. Kyle um, seems like he has a tremendous amount of roles. When you have a situation like you had tonight where everybody's roles got scrambled anyway, how do you figure out when and where to play him? Yeah, that's, you know, one of the challenges tonight was trying to find a group that, you know, you had enough balance out there offensively and defensively. Um, so, but, you know, not tonight we just, it was more of an emergency situation. You was using him as some backup, um, you know, five there, especially against all their uh, small lineups and try to switch as much as we could. Uh, you know, in, in hindsight, I'm not sure that was probably the best thing. That's on me. I probably could have shaken up the defenses a little bit better. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's, that's, you know, the luxury of having him. He can play a lot of different places, you know. So he's a plus 13, one of the few bright spots in the plus minus column. Jaden looked pretty rusty. J Mac looked fine until the last rotation. Yeah. Where it seemed like he might be trying to do too much. Same thing with Delo was really good until he kind of seemed like he was doing too much in that last rotation. Yeah, you know, I thought uh, we did a really good job of you know figuring out a rhythm of uh, offensively, and then it felt to me at times we should have like laid it in when when you know when it was there. We were trying to make the pass and vice versa, you know. So I thought like our reads in the paint were kind of off in that fourth quarter. Um, the turnovers to to your eye, what were the main it's causes? Sloppy. That? I mean, you know, a beat late on a lot of plays. Um, you know, they were very very heavy in their gaps. A lot of traffic. We you know over penetrated. Um, gave ourselves bad angles. You know, not wanting to move the ball with enough uh, with enough pace, so that way we could you know get um, you know just punch punch cleaner gaps. So. When Rudy gets ejected, how much do you? have to alter your, your game plan on the fly. It's, it's, it seemed like offensively, too, you were trying to get get him involved in the post early on. Yeah, well, I mean, they were switching a lot of things. The, 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 there was a great mismatch down there, and the guys did a good job of finding him in deep seals. But, um, you know, just, yeah, after that, it was literally just trying to sh keep keep shuffling the deck till we could find a bunch of guys who could, could uh, get a rhythm. Chris, in a game like this where the whistle does seem to be coming quickly in the first half of their is there anything you can do to settle the guys down or try and, like, maybe, you know, say, hey, yeah, we'd be a little careful tonight, tonight with that? Or No, I mean, you know, we, we talked about um, trying to maintain composure, you know, early on. Um, so. Thanks, Jay.
All right, thanks.